In my 20 plus years of working in trafficking, I have met one person in multiple countries who's been kidnapped and literally thrown in the boot of a car. One. And so what we find is that traffickers are much too sophisticated for that. They are much too pragmatic for that. It's much easier to bring someone along willingly, who's traveling willingly, who's voluntarily crossing a border, much easier to do that than it is to bind someone up with duct tape and, and, and try and bring them across a border or transport them involuntarily. And so because of that, we have trafficking scenarios emanating out of places like Tenancingo in Mexico, where young men will go out to the community, they will find young women to, to romance, to woo, to marry. Those young women will then be put into forced prostitution and brought to the United States. And so there are a number of cases here in the United States involving sex trafficking, where sex trafficking victims are taken up and down the eastern seaboard they're run by this criminal organization out of Tenancingo with its links here in the United States. And those women originally are recruited because they think that these are their boyfriends or their husbands. And in a lot of cases, unfortunately, they have children with those men. And so if you think about it from the perspective of a victim, you are so much less likely to cooperate with law enforcement when your child is being held as a hostage back in Mexico, or your child is being held as a hostage by your trafficker here in the United States, who is also that child's father. And so the bonds of human trafficking are, are not just you know, business bonds of organized crime, they can also be highly charged emotional 